Hi there. Sorry if you can't hear me quite as well as you normally would on some of these videos, but I did have to pull back the camera a little bit so that you could see this, my big giant long spring that I've got here. I've got it attached to two walls in my classroom here, and I just want to quickly show you the difference between transverse and longitudinal waves. Because it's kind of hard to see it maybe when you're just looking at these pictures on a website. Instead, I want you to see it in the spring. Now, hopefully you can see this half decently. I've also tied off a red piece of wire here so you can see the center point. Now, what I'm going to try to do is show you using the spring what a transverse wave looks like and what a longitudinal wave looks like. Let's look at the transverse first. Okay? Now, to make a transverse wave, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take part of the spring and bend it down. Just remember, in a transverse wave, the particles in the wave have to move perpendicular to the direction the wave itself is going. So I'm going to try to get a wave basically to be going off that way by pulling this down. And you'll see that even though this is bouncing up and down, more or less, the wave is traveling perpendicular to it. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so hopefully you're seeing, I'll even try doing it again from way back here. This wire right here is jumping up and down while a wave is traveling back and forth through the spring. It does look a little bit weird, I know, but you know, work with me, okay? Now, to do a longitudinal wave, what I would instead do is move the particle parallel to the wave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up one end of the spring a bit, okay? I pull the spring this way, so I've got this closer to me, and when I release it, you can see that the particles in the wave are moving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, at the same time that the wave itself is moving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I know it does look a little bit jumpy and everything like that, but you know, again, we're using a spring. It's not a real, you know, perfect wave showing the wave. Okie dokie. So hopefully this kind of helps you get an idea of what transverse and longitudinal means. I'll see you around. Bye bye.